technology is everywhere. In fact, there's a ton of technology around us right now. There's the projector I'm using, there's the laptop I'm using, you all have phones and stuff, the new iPhone. And soon, or actually it's already out, is there's going to be a $17,000 watch that's, in my opinion, kind of junk, but okay. So, wonderful thing is, we know, yeah, because it has 18 karat, 30, 38 millimeters, it says it up there, 38 millimeters of 18 karat gold. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, so, a wonderful thing is, we all know how to use this wonderful technology, but we may not know how it really works, which is kind of where computer science comes into play. They're the one, they're the people, the computer science people who, um, they know, they program all of what we do. They, yeah. So, it's kind of crazy though, because there's like 1.4 million jobs in the field, but only 400,000 people really know, like, they're only in the job. And it even says right here, 60% of jobs are computing jobs, whereas 40% of all other math and science jobs. And, um, but there's only 2% of computer science students with 98% of math and science students, which seems crazy. And one of the reasons I think this is, is because we're not really um, teaching it in school. Nine out of 10 schools don't even like offer the course. And Neshoba is one of the lucky ones that does. And that's probably why in 36 of the 50 states, it doesn't even count towards a high school credit. Which seems kind of crazy to me. So the solution is easy. I think we should teach it a lot more in school. Because if we teach it a lot more in school, then we'll, maybe we'll get people to like actually get into the job. Maybe they'll think it's fun or something. Or heck, we will even know just a bit about it is a good thing. So without computer science, we wouldn't have our awesome phones. We wouldn't have our tablets, our laptops. And we definitely wouldn't have Halo. <laughs> so yeah. 